I'm Mark Hirsch from Life the Basic Manual. I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about the criminal justice system in the United States. I know a little bit about this as I was a criminal defense attorney for over 15 years. The United States has the highest per capita incarceration rate of any place in the world. When I first got out of law school and came down to the courthouse, I was amazed at what a busy place it was. I guess I expected it to be quiet and somber and very law-like, but it was like Grand Central Station, people coming and going in and out of the courtrooms. It was something to watch. And then, of course, there, there were the in-custodies. Those were the criminal defendants that couldn't afford to make bail. They came down the hall, all chained together, ankles and wrists chained, led by deputies in their orange jumpsuits, right down the middle of the hall, and if you tried to talk to them, the deputies would shoo you away and take them into the back. When I went into the courtroom itself, it was a little different. It was quieter. After all, the judge was on the bench. You don't want to disturb the wheels of justice while they're turning, but there were still so many people there. Lines of criminal defense attorneys waiting for their cases to be called. Several, if not more, prosecutors at the other table waiting for their cases. Sometimes there were regular citizens who were on juries waiting to go into the jury box, police officers waiting to testify, and then, of course, the criminal defendants and their loved ones. It didn't take me too long to figure something out. This was big business. Not only the lawyers and the sheriffs and the police, but the judge, the court clerk, the court reporter, even the janitor that sweeps up at night, they're all getting paid. The only person that wasn't getting paid was a criminal defendant. Cars need gas to go. Sailboats need wind. The criminal justice system, it needs defendants. Without defendants, it's not going anywhere. The criminal defendant is to the justice system like cornflakes are to Kellogg's. It's the raw materials that supply the fuel for the system to keep going and for everyone in it to get paid. I had to ask myself a question. Is this being done fairly? Were decisions being made properly? Did all these people really belong here? I would find out more about this as time went by. What I'd like to tell you is that everything was perfect, but I think it was a mixed bag. Some people that seemed to have done horrible things got off with very little consequences. Other people seemingly did little things and they got slammed. And some of the other cases I saw, well, they seemed kind of just about right. Anybody can get swept up in the criminal justice system. In my career as an attorney, I had some very good people and some very bad people. They all ended up the same place. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it. This is the first part of a series, and I'm going to continue to explain what it's like to be caught up here and what is going to happen and what it's going to be like. So thank you for listening, and I'll see you next time.